Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to the second cast of the day after the Eastern Front, my little thing. And again, I do apologize if you didn't like it, and I also do apologize if I apologize offended any Eastern Front mod fans. Let's just say Glimmerman managed to make me a bit upset. I mean, come on! Anyways, no more about that. We are going to be watching a one versus one on wrecked trains. Yes, indeed, wrecked trains as the Allies spawn out with the German infrastructure rather to realize afterwards that was a bit of a dumb thing since... Oh, wait. How do we get out of here? All right. Anyways, we are going to be watching WMD Tommy 19... 952, whatever. Fighting for the Americans, fighting for the 5th Infantry Division. Opposing him shall be Rom, the real Slim Shady. Rom, I believe, being means Reign of Madness. Or Moo, I'm not sure. But I do believe it's Madness and not Moo or Milk or anything cow related. But we are seeing him, of course, playing for the Panzerlehr with two Pioneers and a Wehrmacht Quarters. Hurrah! And Tommy going for three engineer start again. He's going to be a bit more aggressive and again seizing territory on a slightly larger scale than the Wehrmacht can probably pull off rather well. But of course it's also going to mean that initially the real Slim Shady will have the infantry advantage. Of course, question is, will he actually be able to sort of stop it? Will of course they'll be arriving in time, you know, to sort of mess things up casually for the Wehrmacht. That is of course the sort of little beauty of this thing. If you actually go for it, though again you Probably should be a bit careful nonetheless. I do believe also Mr. Tommy himself runs a YouTube channel of his own. I believe the Frontline Network, it's now. No. Not 100% sure. I think he runs it with another fellow called Fatal Saint. Which is a bit of problematic if you're a saint. Anyways. Bear Mike advances up here. Looks for also pioneers swifting, shifting heavily eastwards. Well, of course, we are seeing, of course, the Americans go for this fuel point and on wrecked train. I mean, this is pretty much the highest fuel point. And that of course also means it's actually a lot harder to defend, whereas this one is much easier to defend, but it's also less valuable. So there will generally also be a little more fighting over this, as usual. But rather looks like, I mean, Tommy clearly has some sort of plan involving, hey, let's get a lot of fuel. Although again, there's also just the possibility of, hey, his plan involves denying the Wehrmacht fuel. Again, fuel denial and fuel security is always, you know, a big part of the game. We are seeing additional full screens moving up, so we are seeing a slightly more infantry heavy aggressive startup for the real Slim Shady and the Panzerlehr. Full screens moving up, catching the Riven a bit there, continuing the advance for the Fatherland. Pioneers getting caught up a bit, using the train right here to sort of avoid the fire of the full screeners. Going to be a problem, and there we go, the full screeners managed to catch. Oh dear! Already managed to gut one. Additional rifles are out, but even then they could still be too late to arrive before this rifle. But again, using the train to avoid the fire of the Volksmans, forcing them to constantly shift about. A bit of clever maneuvering right here. Pioneers might want to retreat in face of the engineers. There we go. Using a bit of bar wire, and there we go. More rifles are moving in from Tommy. Engineers arriving on the scene as well. And we are seeing the real slim shady forces Volksmans a bit further back to a slightly more. Well, less dangerous position. Minor engagement over to pioneers and it is again. The fuel, the fuel is the center of attention so far on the far flanks of this map. We're probably seeing additional units while in the meanwhile the real slim shady just seems to be biding his time, although it might be a better idea to sort of shift elsewhere. There we go, though engineers running into the false gun is shots ring out. As the engineers then run proceed to run past a small, very small hill. And false gun is coming under fire. Pioneers and here continuing to fight. Pioneers pull back, perhaps hoping to lure them over to the Pudlevsky building. The ever sinister Pudlevsky building. And we are seeing a sniper, in fact, figuring he can't really deal with the Americans, otherwise, he's just going to dig him out with snipers. Bit of a gamble, of course, if the snipers just rush in, this could work out a bit differently. But rather, looks like Tommy is going the way that the real Slim Shane wants it. False guys moving up. Sniper just keeps on adding the pressure. In this case, I mean, early on, a sniper's really, you know, great for attrition. Rather trying his best, of course, to drain Tommy of Manpun. Just note there, already two Freifman squads heavily wounded. Only one false guy squad the same way. Now, of course, more Freifman are just getting sniped. Engineers are trying to push in, but I don't think it will be enough. And an MG42 sets up as well. Engineers, Rifeman getting absolutely gutted. And there we go, four false engineers still standing. Oh, and an engineer squad actually went down. And no? What's the rifle? What went down right there? 
It might actually have been a rifleman squad that went down. Oh dear. That was actually a pretty early, pretty brutal loss right there. For Tommy, a bit unfortunate right there. Probably should have retreated a bit earlier. But nonetheless, I mean, the power of an early sniper if used properly. Certainly probably only came about because you'd rather, you know, pull back initially rather than just trying to rush it right away. That might have worked a bit better, I think. Though, of course, I could also be very, very incredibly wrong, so I won't pretend to be too clever on that behalf. We are seeing Pioneers being rushed off with rather severe casualties. The Pioneers looks like to find them run something else. A flame for Engineers pushed off by the false guns, others moving up. And we are, in fact, seeing a third false gun squad up. That's a pretty heavy tier one, not the sort of usual thing you see, in fact it's usually two false guys sniper MG but he's actually going for three and the response from Tommy is to go for the Browning automatic rifle he's basically just going to be trying to push even harder with his infantry but he's already lost one rifle and squad I think an early armored coverage man actually worked more in his favor but no these rifle though do desperately need to get out of there come on Tommy Retreat! Engineers getting torn up as well. This is not working out well. A rather dense clump of infantry troops and... Engineer squad went down, not a rifle squad. Thank the heavens! And this is just one hell of a strong point. It would have been excellent if there was early artillery, but no such luck. Of course, he could be losing control with the rest of that, but so far Tommy seems more interested in just trying to crush this little thing rather than trying to deny the rest of the map to Daniel Slim Shady and the Panzer Folks, guys, getting caught. Oh, whoops! Clicked on the minimap. Going. Oh, out negative cover by BARS. Definitely bad. Quickly run off. So Pioneers have secured this, but for how long? And again, a bit of harassment, a bit of moving about. Trio center going up. Craig Banks going up as well. At the same time, Folks, guys, retreating. Sniper moving westwards. No mines for the part. Oh, there are mines, in fact. Although perhaps a bit more leftwards than is beneficial. But no, looks like the rifleman... Ow! Three riflemen and the others are barely alive. Definitely a well... Gravy mine. Troops are pushing up. False gunners wiring off a bit as well. Not in the best condition though. Wonder where the... Oh, there they are. Supply lines are broken. And we are... Seeing not so much else at the moment. Oh, we are seeing more blinking from the Wehrmacht quarters. Possibly a response to the BARs. Still free riflemen from Tommy. And a bit of quiet, in fact. Probably going to be, yes, indeed, well used by the real Slim Shady to immediately begin wiring off to, to make it much harder for Tommy to pull off a frontal assault with BARs or even a larger escape, just large scale assault. So definitely using his time very well to make it much harder for the Americans to rather pull off an assault. So jolly good for that Trier Center up. That's going to help a bit. A medic station might be something Tommy might want to consider investing in to sort of help in the longer term to sort of deal with attrition. Since he's clearly suffering much. Now we go a second MG42. This is definitely a force meant to drain the Americans of manpower more mines going down again he's really making it this his strong point he really wants to stop Tommy right there partly because again he's probably ho hoping to hold this area and again having a position here would allow for a much easier defense of this area of the map and rifleman engineer sneaking westward some perhaps up the center three rifleman squads a bit of manpower and fuel being accessible well then, let's speed this up a bit. Wehrmacht sneaks up. Troops getting sniped. 14 kills already for the sniper. Fuel getting secured. Pack moving up. He is just preparing himself just in case. He could of course get Grenadiers or something else afterwards. Volkswagen is moving westwards. Tommy is prob... I mean, the real some shady is probably expecting some sort of assault. Grenades going up for Tommy. He's soon. He's probably going to make a larger push. Volkswagen is getting caught by flame frozen riflemen. Getting pushed back. Sniper fire on the engineers. And there we go. Oh! There we go. Hooking about on a farther path. He is going to catch the sniper with his BAR rifleman. And the sniper's none the wiser. 
A real slim shader could easily be losing a sniper right there. Yes, indeed. Enemy sniper enemy gone. Enemy. The assault pushing up here. Grenade almost done. Troops are not getting suppressed. Some are, but others are moving up. Clearing out the MG42 frontally. And we end faxing full rifle now. That's what well. Good job beefing up the assault right there. Charging through the real slim shady's lines. His MG42s were exposed out in the open. Not a good position, in fact. And grenades against the folks. Guys, medic bunker up. Heavy losses. Veterans one for one rifleman squad. Oh dear, oh dear. Increasing veterans, making it much harder to hit as well. And the MG42 number two being rushed off as well. And these medics are getting sorted out in a Soviet style. An MG42 left behind as a little present for Tommy. The MG belt dangling most invitingly in the wind. Come use us, Tommy. Yes, German engineering is superior to your inferior Americans. <coughs> Anyways. Quite an alluring little thing. And definitely if he uses it, it is going to be much harder for the real Sim Shady to make a sort of return effort. Because again, that MG42 is really going to stop any German counterattack pretty hard. Plus, we've gone all yes, and he is getting mines. He has gone infantry. Brilliant, brilliant again. That's what you sort of rarely see. That is again the use of you know defenses. I mean, also would be nice to actually see some sandbags right here to protect the MG42 because now he's making the same mistake that Real Sim Shady did. You know, poor cover for the MG. Heavy cover. It's a bit of barbed wire at that MG42. It's definitely going to stop Hans from advancing. Well, in this case, the Real Sim Shady MG42 moving out to the Pitlevsky building. He's trying to hold the west now, shifting a bit about. Sturm Armory on the way. Volkswagen's getting reinforced. Mines going off left and right. Medics getting burned alive. And securing the east as well. Jolly good. Tommy really taking advantage of damage he's done. He might also want to sort of pull towards any sort of armor now. And oh my goodness, the Panzer calls upon the Stu 42. Sturm how bits is right on Fertzig. Stu with a howitzer instead of a gun. That's definitely... Oh! Hits a mine though! Hits a mine! And... Oh! Great shot right there! Three kills with the main gun! Medics continue to get knocked out and... Oh dear! Engineers lost! Four kills already! A bit of a problem! And tragically in this case... Tommy was not prepared! He's getting demo charges! He was probably hoping to just demo the medic bunker which is certainly not a bad idea! But I think he made a slight mistake in not preparing for armor. In any the slightest way, although of course now he has managed to temporarily hold the Stu 42, since with the damaged engine it's not going to be too helpful. But a swift return from the real Slim Shady, a gamble that actually worked out with the Stu 42. If there had been even one anti tank gun, this would pretty much quickly have been closed down and could have actually been GG for the real Slim Shady. Supply out going up, so of course he is now reacting to this. Sticky bombs on the way as well. Rangers could also in fact serve quite well against an early Stu 42 if it doesn't have veterancy in particular. And there is no Kampfkraft center. So it could go out. Pioneers dead to a mine. Panzer though is advancing making a return. MU 42 advances up. Rifleman ready. Securing the area here. Rifleman needs to retreat though. And there we go, Folks is getting stopped by the MG42. Mine goes off again. Oh, the Stu42 just keeps hitting them. So that was a bit unfortunate. Though not for Tommy, of course. Oh, actually, time to have a look at the real from Shady. He has, of course, come this quick. He could call in Stormtroopers. He could, of course, not as well. He actually cancelled the Storm Armory. Probably to call in that Stu 42, and now he's doing it again since now he has the Stu 42 and probably doesn't need another one. We are losing Interesting. Looks like Tommy is going for a much harder attempt to sort of deal with this. He is going for the tank depot. He's not going to bother with anti tank guns. He is going straight for the armor. Probably going for some tank destroyers, although Sherman could also be of help, I think. Rifle. Oh, Fulton's getting caught right here by the rifle on retreat. MG 42 as well. This could end up badly, in particular if you just stand still. There we go. MG42 taking losses. Stu42 not really having any problems. MG gunner down. But not the entire gun team. Fels guys moving up to react. Stu42 slightly pulling back. And small efforts towards the east by the Wehrmacht. MP4 is being equipped for some of the Fels Lots of munitions hanging about. Could be used for Goliath. 
could be used for anything, in fact quite a lot. Attempt to mine right there. Clever but trouble is the false has rather spotted that, so that would have made the mine ineffective. In particular since there's 242 that's just and you know fire at the ground setting off the mine. So the right move was there in fact to cancel it. Tank depot up though for WD Tommy. Fulton's gonna getting caught a bit out in the open. Stu 42 turns about. Fulton's cannons are getting gone off. Stu 42 misses. Horrifically. Going straight there for the cutoff point. Stu 42 misses again. Rifle are probably going to move in and try and get some sticky bombs off on it. That could work nicely. Rifle moving in from north. They're not moving in from north. Oh dear, Tommy. Bit of a mistake there, I think. MG42 sitting up to cover. The Stu 42 ensuring he can't get sticky bombed. If only Tommy had been moving in from the north with the rifle right there at the same time, he might have been able to pull it off. And in fact, he only moved in one rifleman team all of a sudden. But there we go, sticky bomb, pack firing. Fox guns moving in from the south. There we go, mine goes off. So, perhaps might have worked not so well. Medic pack on the MG42. MG42 run off. Stu 42 once more with a damaged engine. Where are the tank destroyers or Shermans? Nowhere to be seen. We are losing ground. Rifleman pulling back. Stu 42 firing off a few more warning shots. Blowing up nothing but the ground. Tommy though is securing larger parts of the map. Nebelwerf has arrived for the Panzerlehr. In fact, numerous are on the way. He's definitely going to be laying down a thick cover of incendiary rockets. And Rifleman here taking a thrashing from the Nebelwerf. Already three dead. Volkskan is rushing off the raft. Oh, mine goes off but killing only one on the retreat. Another squad pulls off as well. So far, no luck for the medics. MG42 pulling back. Volkskan it is. Engineers dueling it out. And these engineers could in fact be going down. MG42 opening up and approaching Volkskan it is. Stu42 moves out to sort out that little threat. Second, the needle were already. Kampfkraft sent up, and we are seeing support veteran G. Tank destroyer arrives on the field, though. Gets off a nice rear hit on the Stu 42. More rifleman. Has to be careful, though. We are aware, of course, of the anti tank gun. Oh, misfire by the tank destroyer. But there we go, another hit, but he needs to be careful. Pack firing away. Panzer der Kanone. Feuer frei. A bit of artillery might work wonders here. Uh, he's moving a bit too close. Right in f oh, he gets stuck right in front of the anti-tank gun. A poor movement vector. Rifleman getting absolutely shattered by the Stu-42. No Rifleman to move out on the flank and sticky bomb it. If only he'd been able to get off one. And Panzerfaust destroys the engine. And there we go. Tank destroyer out of control. Bit unfortunate and the Stu-42 still stands strong. But the Nebelwerfers are ready to make things a living hell for the Americans. So there we go, a bit of quiet from both sides. Let's just casually speed it up a bit. Securing the center. Goliath arrives. Ooh, cheeky. Tank destroyer rolls in again, trying to get for that. Stu 42. Oh, front shot bounces off. Pack ready once more to halt the Allied advance. Oh my goodness! Nice hit from the Goliath right there. Got an engineer squad. And quite a few rifles. Artillery though going in against the pack. Opening up for a tank destroy assault. But Tommy is not following up on the artillery. But there we go. A bit too late though. Troops getting pushed off the east. He could, in fact, be trying to perhaps hit the neighbor rivers, but then again, they are within the range of this MG42. Nicely done. Stuk 4 moving up. And, oh, another Panzerfaust on the tank destroyer. Oh, dear, it's sharing the exact same fate of, as its predecessor. Again, moving in a bit too slow. This case results in the Stuk 4 getting it. Another tank destroyer out of control. And Nebelwerf is trying to stop the American advance over there. Rockets sounding out from the small industrial area, or the ruins of it, anyways. 
Tommen though clearly not giving up. Volker is catching on fire. Stu moving up. Medic station once again would prove a bit beneficial, I think, for Tommy. Rifman moving up. Pioneer staying right behind. We are losing ground. And the Falcons find themselves run off in the east. Oh, bugger! Nice hit. Engineers were sent to Kingdom Come, courtesy of the Fatherland. Well, cool, guys. No, that would actually be Hengel, probably. Or is it Man? Oh, the Germans had so many factories, anyways. And the Stu gets off a nice hit as well. Engineers trying to fight some, fight some low health false grenades, but they are in fact losing pretty dramatically. Yeah, MG42 might want to retreat. Excellent hit by the Stu42. MG42 itself is sorted out. Rather than trying to clear that, and. Another hit by the Stu42. Oh my goodness, it's just on fire. It's a Stu ace. And there we go, Veteran G2 for the support units and Veteran G1 for the armor. Not bad, not bad at all. The real Slim Shady is certainly pushing things in a nice manner. Not a lot of luck for the medics, still far from it. No supply and upgrades, still no medic station, lots of riflemen though. More tank destroyers probably. Although perhaps a crocodile could perhaps help a bit, you know, sneak in, clearly clear out the pack. And I mean, crocodiles are pretty effective against packs. But usually, I mean, you rather see a lot of the higher ranking Americans, they sort of just go for one type of armor, usually the tank destroyer. And then they just rush, and then there's rarely any sort of, you know, combination of armor. Rather than moving in. Bit of effort on the west. Tommy is spreading out a bit. Might be an idea though also for Tommy to consider perhaps not striking down here because it is rather a strong point in the advantage of the real Slim Shady. In fact, let's return to Tommy. But perhaps, you know, to try and strike through here into the base and also perhaps strike these much weaker targets than Nebelwerfers. Because if Tommy could do that, he would probably do a lot more damage just with two tank destroyers. Plus, of course, it will also force the real Slim Shady to abandon this area a bit and you'll pull back. And again, might even force him to begin laying up defenses here. So again, that way it would overall actually weaken the real Slim Shady if done properly. And of course, if the real Slim Shady then proceeds to act in a manner favorable to Tommy. We have More neighbor of fire actually moving a bit away. Perhaps even feeling they might be a bit threatened. Or well, perhaps he's aware, of course, that Tommy is going infantry, and of course he's worrying about counter artillery fire. In which case, he's actually moving the naval vehicles to avoid that. Grenades going off, not really seeing the MP40 false guns. Oh, one down, but the rifle kit themselves could be losing. No, false guns pulling back. Veterancy two up for the assault guns, giving them light machine guns and a health bonus. Definitely spells trouble though for the infantry of Tommy. Since that MG is, as you might have noticed, actually quite effective, plus, of course, its main gun itself. Definitely going to be a bit of a nightmare. And where we go, we are seeing Rifle actually sneaking in to the base of the real Slim Shady, actually moving right up to it. And there's an actually slightly interesting fact there's a bit of a gap right here. We can actually do a lot of nasty things without MGs being able to touch you. Artillery getting called in. MP40 Fault guys in the. Oh, right next to it. Sturm Armory takes a nasty beating, Fultz is getting caught. Will the response be from, you know, the real Slim Shady or will he just sort of hang about there? And will Tommy reinforce this effort? Fultz is moving in from the rear though, perhaps hoping to draw off a bit there. Sturm Armory almost done, in fact almost wrecked. Fultz is getting torn apart on the retreat. Veterans have won even, oh no. Nebelwerfer for counter fire, pens down one rifleman squad. And Stu42 gets off some nice hits, 21 kills, my goodness. And, oh, he sets off a mine with the Nebelwerfers. And the medics, of course, aren't getting shot if they're not getting burned alive, as they're heroically trying to save the ones from the Nebelwerfer fire. Yeah. 
Stug 4. Holding out nicely against the Rifleman. MG though, not really hanging much like the cover providing a bit too much. There we go though, MG42 opens up as well, joins in the fun. Mine goes off, and there we go. Rushing in, three tanks again, he's going for the front, but we are seeing Rifleman being added in. Can he clear out the pack in time? If he can do that, there we go, grenade. There we go, pack cleared out. Rifleman taking heavy losses, tank destroyers rushing in, but one has already taken severe damage from pack and Stug fire. Panzerfaust, false guys moving in. There we go. Nice hit. More MP4 just being equipped. Rifling. Oh, getting gunned down. The MGs are simply too much. And now Tommy's actually moving away his tank destroyers. This could prove to be the fatal flaw. Panzerfaust destroys the engine. Stu oh, can't penetrate. Rifleman need to get out of there. 29 kills. Stug, 4. Down, pack, recruit, engineers, oh, also getting shot out by the Stu 42, 31 kills, Nibbler for fire, and he's actually moving this, oh, the tank is right, oh, mine also goes, oh my goodness, the carnage, oh, that was just unbelievable, and we are actually seeing the Panzer pulling in a Puma, to provide a bit of additional fire against the tank, as I imagine, it's 50mm gun, but he did get a stook, he did kill a bit of this and that, but he never really managed to force away the real Slim Shady from this, and in the process he lost a lot of riflemen and numerous tank destroyers. And of course now, this would be an excellent point for the real Slim Shady to actually begin salvaging all of this for munitions. And I imagine we will be seeing an attempt in the North Map Combat Group soon. Still no supplied upgrades. Bit of a shame right there for Tommy. I think. Advancing up on the... West a bit the east as well, though getting stopped. Air machine gun fire, false guns some with BARs even. And we are in fact seeing a tiger already out for the real from Shady. Quite impressive. Crushing Rex, less impressive. Pioneers getting run off. Veteran G2 though, they do get elite armor in fact, making them a bit tough I believe. Quite tougher in fact. Throw in some flamethrowers and they can actually be pretty good assault troops then. Point time. And there we go. Off map combat group. Ooh, lots of riflemen. Rangers and an anti tank gun. Giving him, in fact, six, I uh, seven infantry units. That could definitely be used in a proper assault, although the Stu 42 getting 35 kills to the neighborhood. Of course, the Tiger could prove to be a bit of a foil for that. Plus, of course, now his upkeep is quickly a large chunk down again. Supplied upgrades would help a bit. Tiger advances. Oh my goodness! As the Rangers are moving in, Tiger gets two of them plus an MG gunner. And more Rangers are just. Oh my goodness! That Tiger is just on fire. Anti tank gun joins in though, forcing it away in fact. Moving up for a more frontal assault. Rangers need to be careful. Very careful, in fact. Looks like they might be trying for a grenade. A salt grenade is actually coming in from the real Slim Shady. Catching. Oh my goodness, just tearing through the rifle. MP45. Oh, MG cleared out. More grenades. Tiger arrives. Stu 42 damaged engine. And we are seeing Attila getting called in on the Tiger and the pack. Further firing over here. Puma. Actually damaging, but the false guns do most of the work again with assault grenades. Anti-tank gun cleared out. Heavy damage to the Tiger as the artillery shells land and give the crew bruises, I suppose. Pack, in fact, completely wrecked. Rangers need to get out of there. False gun is with MP4 and with BAR, in fact, and a Puma. One ring. Oh, and he drops a he drops a bazooka. Rainier though somehow succeeds escaping anti-tank on fire on the Tiger Stu 42 36 kills and Tommy though just took another flashing but at the same time he was actually able to do some damage left and right he did get an MG 42 question is of course will the Ridsome Shady pick it up again and of course he also got a pack so it wasn't a complete waste more Nibiru for 5 Rifle might want to consider retreating 
Getting reinforced. Lots of units, in fact, in dire need of reinforcement. Or is he actually hoping for just getting another off-map combat group to solve his woes? Anti-tank gun left behind. And it rather looks like he is, in fact, just betting on the off-map combat group. Our supply lines are being threatened. He's just rushing in heavily depleted infantry units. To basically just, you know, stall the enemy until he can get the off-map combat groups. I think that's a bit wasteful, to be honest. Just a bit. Tiger moves up, though, again. Heavily damaged. Off-map combat group ready. Lots of rifle and heavy machine gun, another anti-tank gun. Heavy losses to the troops here. Victory point under siege. The Germans are Oh no, they just all really heavily lost. Never mind. And we're seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rifleman squads and a ranger. That's a lot, plus numerous heavy machine guns. Two forty-two. Good bazooka misses. Nothing else going on here. Storm armory heavily damaged. Rather looks like Tommy might be relying a bit too much on the Storm Armory. Rather moving up. Might be trying to get close. Oh, Tiger gets off an excellent shot. 88mm high explosive round. Just tears. Oh my goodness, those Raven guys got sent into another realm. Navy neighbor of uh, impeding the approach and the well, basically, the riflemen right here who are heavily depleted on their mission of harassment as MP forties riddle their bodies with bullets, and the riflemen here just getting. Oh my goodness, Tom is just leaving them out in the open to get murdered. This is looking pretty grim. Let's return to the real slim shady. Who's still holding on pretty nicely, although he has lost one full skin squad. He has one now, which is a nice little assault force with a bazooka and a BAR. And a bit of urgency, even. More naval weapons on the way. Ty getting pushed back by anti tank on fire. And of course, where's the one? There we go. Man by false grenadiers. And these rifles are getting hammered by the Puma. My goodness. Still, Tommy, though, despite having largely depleted forces, is pushing on. He is taking, in fact, most of the map away from the real Slim Shady. I mean, this is very aggressive play, very bold, very brazen. But, of course, also a bit risky. And now, in fact, we are seeing a Grenadier Squad arriving for the real Slim Shady. For the Panzerlehr, as the fifth continues to struggle. They're still making good headway, but I fear it might not last for much longer as they are getting continually drained. Which does open them up for a severe German counterattack. If he's not careful. Life moves about. MG42 in the Pitlivsky building stops any advances right there. So jolly good. Anti-tank gun getting hit, Ranger even closer getting hit, again why he's not even bothering healing him at the Trier Center is a bit beyond me, not again reinforcing him, but again, it rather looks to be all part of his plan with the off-map combat group. There we go though, two tank destroyers and additional riflemen, he's actually getting somewhat lucky, I mean he's not getting a completely support focused one, but Veterans 3 is up, Tiger is fully repaired, the repair bung up in fact. Riflemen charging in, heavily strung out. Anti-tank on fire on the stool. Riflemen moving in against the anti-tank gun itself, calling in artillery. Riflemen getting shattered. Tank destroyers are on the flank. Riflemen moving up on the flank. Could he be trying to strike at the base finally? Riflemen squads gone. Going for all the points. In fact, false guns are getting shattered. Well, the round themselves are taking some losses. There we go. Fultz going to squat down. 
Desperately tried to hold with the MP4, but it was not enough. Riven here fighting against the Puma. Already one squad has been devoured. More sticky bombs, in fact, could be what clears it out by the Riven. No destroyed engine and tank destroyers moving in against the German base, against the Real Shady, the base of the Panzerlehr. Sturm Army could be going down. Volkswagen is again stopped by the ME42. And again, rather looks like, in fact, he's holding all three victory points. He's holding most of the map. Stormtroopers arrive. Stoss Truppen. And Grenadiers are getting run over. And cleared out by the tank destroyers. Volkswagen is rushing into the and they could get squished. They are, in fact, getting squished. Oh, no. Oh, the inhumanity. They're losing territory. Only one false grenade left. Stormtroopers pulling up to the front. A sniper out for the real Slim Shady. And we are seeing the Tiger moving in now to deal with the tank destroyers. Won't be a good idea for the tank destroyers now. In fact, to just vacate the premises. And we are seeing a bazooka dropped by the false grenadiers. Poor Heinz could not carry it all. And the Ravner just getting shattered. 40 kills for the Stu 42! BAR is being secured by the Stormtroopers. He's potentially just equipping himself with American equipment. That is equipping his troops on Tommy's account. Well, Tommy's expense, I suppose, would be the more proper way to say it. And again, that's a bit the problem, the bit the dangerous situation of Tommy. In fact, just sending in completely depleted squads. They're more likely to drop weapons. That is more likely to give the real Slim Shady their weapons. And now we are seeing the Tiger, in fact, has been separated, thus leaving the Stu-42 open. Sniper got crushed! Other oh, tanks are pulling back. Tiger moving in, but will it be enough in time? And someone screaming they have family. Tank destroyer rushes out of there. Oh, runs into the... Puma, but the Puma, oh dear, not even veterans, and one shot, it's gone, crashing through an opal blitz and the wall, oh, that was unfortunate, and gets a repair pioneer on the retreat, that bastard, more units are arriving, more tank destroyers, anti-tank guns, and more riflemen, my goodness, he's just getting what he wants, largely, although I suppose there might have been some cousins he didn't get as many tank destroyers as he's like, but still, he's just getting more infantry, he's, I'm sure Tommy would be an excellent Soviet commander by the looks of it. And of course, the interesting thing is how, you know, some of these tactics might work in common heroes too. But there you go. Stu 42 moving up. Rather than forcing away the pioneers. Tommy's still holding a decent part of the map, although the real Slim Shady is successfully regaining parts. Anti Tango moving up. Stu 42 taking hits. Tiger taking hits. And Nabel Burfer fire. Just hammering away three. That's a pretty solid battery. At Stu 42 anti tank gun. They'll get cleared out. Stu 42 knocked out by the tank destroyer. And veteran need two increasing penetration. That's definitely going to need repairs though. Three tank destroyers. One veteran G2. If used properly, it could probably actually end up being the bane of the real slim shady. And meanwhile, the stormtroopers have secured the bazooka. So this Stormtrooper squad is in fact a pretty heavily equipped unit. Again, at the expense though we are losing of the Tommy. We are now seeing a bit of veterans. We are seeing manpower blitz. Lots of manpower. In fact, he could get more Stormtroopers. He could get more infantry. More boots on the ground. If he's so fancied. Instead, he is going for the Panzer Command. So he might in fact just be going straight for armor. Which could definitely work out well. Sniper clears out the MD-42. Another sniper in fact. To replace the one crushed by the tank destroyer. Forward, supply lines are broken. And let's go look at Tommy. Right, now man. down to four largely depleted rifleman squads and a few tank destroyers and an engineer squad. But again, he's just getting another off map combat group. He largely can't get away with it because, again, he just uses tank destroyers. He's going to think it's a bit of a shame. But again, he might also be a bit desperate. And a rifleman got knocked out right there by the Tiger and another group. 
one rifle squad, two, a mortar and two anti-tank guns. Probably not what you're looking for, not such a heavily assault configured unit, although again two anti-tank guns could do work. And we are seeing another anti-tank gun recruit, this time by Pioneers. And another rifle sniped out. Definitely all these depleted squads are quite tasty. And in fact he could possibly rush in with his tank destroyers. Any artillery could get cleared out by anti-motor artillery fire, in fact, and such. Rifleman getting assaulted by some folks guys right here on the flank. Will Tommy react? Yes, indeed. And folks guys taking up a nice defensive position in a nearby building. Grenade, though, goes in. And it does nothing. That was a bit of a whiff. Tiger, though, holding the front line after its mighty stu comrade went down. Panzer Command is going up, thus giving the Panzer layer some heavy armor. Smoke going down, he's probably trying to secure the victory point in the center. And looks like Tommy is rather perhaps, you know, betting on basically just using off-map combat groups to sort of maintain a stalemate and just drain the real Slim Shady of victory points. But again, that's going to rather require that the real Slim Shady then gets a much slightly more punchy force. Again, the Nebelwerfers though are doing quite a bit of work. Panzer Command almost done. Fault guys moving up here. Losing a victory point. We are losing a Sniper victory point. moving up. Stormtroopers protecting the right points. flank with a bazooka. And there we go, the artillery getting called in. On what though? I have. Ah, the fault guys over here. Three down. Seems a bit wasteful. Though we can easily call in another one. Taking casualties. Perhaps he's waiting for another off-map combat group to run him with more tank destroyers before he makes a charge. Plus, of course, he can pull in the anti-tank guns. He could pull up. Then again, he is going to have to make one hell of a charge out of this. He is going to have to pull everything in. Again, I do think he might work off better again if he went for the flank with his three tank destroyers. Went in here, did as much damage as he could, then took a route through here and knocked out the Nebelwerf. But again, I do think Tommy is a bit too enamored with the frontal assault. Again, using units... Oh dear, he's not even waiting a bit longer for another off-map combat group. Bazooka though misses, he's going in. Anti-tank guns pulling up. Veterans with three support units. Anti-tank guns firing. Tank destroyer, oh, gets mulled up. And of course they're targeting down the Veterans with two on the one with increased penetration. Destroyed engine, artillery getting called in. Needs to get that out of there. There we go, anti-tank and sorted out. Loss is being incurred in the center somewhere. And we are seeing a Panther coming up. Panzer Kampfwagen 5. Repair Pioneers down. Anti-tank guns up. And we are seeing Grenadiers actually getting reformed. Tank destroyer moves in to try and crush them. Fulton is moving in as well. Stormtroops arriving as well. And we could be seeing a defensive ensconcement within the building, thus ensuring the tank destroyer can't crush them. And of course, they can just easily turn about and deal with it in a much more stable position. Will they get in? Yes, indeed. Tiger advances. Finally, is assaulting the anti-tank gun. Not enough protection for the anti-tank guns. MG, though, doing its best. But I fear it might not be enough. Tank destroyer getting hammered with bazooka fire from the second floor. Well, the first floor is close, not the ground floor. There we go, heavy damage, tank, Tiger hasn't even suffered much in this case. Veterans E2, tank destroyer lost. Mork get called in. But now things are not turning out to Tommy's advantage. Our fuel point is being taken by the enemy. Far from it. And there we go, the Panther Panzer, Panzerkampfwagen 5. Moving out for the fatherland. Rather fitting in with the ruinous sort of look right here. We're down to 200 Two tank destroyers moving westwards after the failed central assault. Ooh, they could catch the Panther. There we go. Two tank destroyers right. Ooh, I'm not sure who missed there. Might have been the Panther. Shots bounce off. Shots bounce off. Panther gets the hit, but there we go. Right behind the Panther. And there we go, nice hit. Panther is in fact in dire trouble. There we go, already almost down to two health after sort of real two penetrating hits. There we go, less than half health. 
could in fact be going down very soon. Losing ground out there. M10s are pretty good against tank destroyers and um, Panthers. And there we go, Panther down. Veteran C3 Panther went down very quickly to two Veteran C Nada tank destroyers. So again, I mean, Veteran G is not everything. And largely Veteran G for the German tanks, again, helps a bit against armor, but largely afterwards that it's mostly against infantry, they gain protection. Storm is moving in, tanks are here, caught in trouble. Other one does manage to escape. Sniper could get crushed. Mortar fire. Lots of mortars up, in fact. And the off-map combat group on the way. And a Panzerfaust. Does it save the day? Nope. Trying to crash the stormtrooper. Stormtrooper trying probably to get into the bunker, perhaps. Artillery on the German base. On the Krieg barracks. Not entirely sure that's what he wants it to go. There we go, though. Bunker, Bazooka. And there we go. Bazooka Heinz knocks out the Wolverine. And a Panzerfaust knocks out the other one. And another off-map combat group. These has largely been forgotten now. Tommy is only just trying his best in the west. Neil is a huddle about there. I mean, clip. I mean, it's not really too easy either for the real Shade. He's also been rather worn down. Trouble is, by this stage. Tommy's rather having, you know, difficult actually sort of holding ground. He's doing a lot of damage, but he can't really gain any ground with the damage he's doing. In fact, equal victory points now, but now it's going down for Tommy. Hank's still pulling away. Ritter Kreutz arriving now. Veteran G2. More armor on the way for the real Slim Shady and the Panzerlehr. And Grenadier's going up against the 30 caliber. Light cover them. The crater does provide a bit of suppression protection, but not much longer. There they go. Two men down. Three men down to the 30 caliber. But mean that. 27 kills on the Tiger. And a Panzer four Panzer Kampfwagen Fear now adds into the fun. Anti tank and getting assaulted again. The unit composition, rather due to largely again, relying only. Off map common groups is not really helping Tommy sort of compose more assaults or even though it's holding territory. Graham though rushes in, 50 caliber and everything else good on it mounted. More anti tank and fat. Oh, getting burned alive. Sniper sorting things out in the Our west. And still not a single supply upgrade from Tommy though, that's a bit of a shame. Yeah. Armored car rushing in. Troops getting suppressed by the 50 caliber and there we go, nice 37mm gun hit. Gets one stormtrooper. Oh, oh, hits a mine! Nicely mined though, by the way, by the real some Shady using the road again, where vehicles go, tend to go in fact. Otherwise the Panzer would have gunned it, but nicely done right there. Front shifted. Routes are grabbing territory from us. Has all three victory points again, although the question is for how long? Forward supply lines are supply lines are broken. We have territory cut off from supply. Let's return to the real slim shady. Quite a lot of veterans three things. And basically just a mix of everything in terms of infantry. Grenadiers, stormtroopers, false grenadiers, knights cross. In fact, yes, largely all the German infantry. Fancy that. Right from here, getting shattered by Nibelberg for fire. Panzer Ford advances. And, oh dear, tank is not going to do much against it anymore. Another bunker going up. <laughs> and engineers running into the stormtroopers. Stormtroopers making short work of those engineers and veterans to free up German infantry as well. Right 
The real Slim Shady saying it was fun. More tank destroys, more armored cars. Running into the Tiger and the Panzer IV. Destroyed engine. Panzer IV does the trick. Reifman arriving as well. Greyhound trying to do something useful but it's not really going to manage much. Tank destroyer number two getting focused down by the Tiger and the Panzer IV. No, the Panzer IV took us down. Ooh, Reifman managed to drop the Knight's Cross but not really in good condition. Could be getting a Nibler for finally. Endlich. Tiger though continues the hunt. Nibler for down. And then tank destroyer down. And there we go, tank destroyer gone, lost in a sea of fire. Panzer IV triumphant. Someone blew up as well, some pioneers I fear. The corpses lying nicely warm besides the five, another tank destroyer. Yeah, not to uh, offend you, but I don't think the Stu 42 won that game. It did, certainly did a lot of damage, but I mean... There were also, you know, some other factors. Yeah. I mean, largely in the beginning, actually did very little damage. That's the thing. It was only later in the game it rather really, you know, did a lot of damage. I do think Tommy's just making up excuses here, I fear. Let's just beat these few seconds up. And this clearly annoyed the real some shady bit, which I can understand in this situation, but there you go. Game over, the 5th tradition has been pushed back, the assault of the Panzerlehr against this Reve line has been successful. But of course the question is, what won the real some shady the game, what lost Tommy the game? And the problem was a bit, you know, Tommy wasn't quite prepared for armor, I think he was a bit too late for that. Well, the Arsenal had a bit of unfortunate luck right there. I mean, the rather aggressive Wehrmacht push by the real Slim Shady in the beginning probably caught him a bit off guard. And then the Stu 42 come in, but the Stu 42 in the beginning didn't do much. I mean, there were some chances. I think Tommy had to really knocking it out, but it never really materialized. But again, it didn't really do a lot of damage until sort of mid game when he actually had the tank there. Up. But he then never really pushed it. And I think he also might slightly made the mistake of, you know, trying to hammer in here with the tank destroyers without Sherman's support. I mean, if he was to going to just use tank to the thing, I mean, again, when he finally did use it, he actually did a lot, but it never really came about much more then. I mean, he got a Stu for Sturm Armory and a bit in the first run, and in the second run, he got a Panther. Both times just using two tank destroyers. I mean, again, it was really effective, but for some reason, it just never really appeared to Tommy to just sort of, you know, try and attack here, rather than attack down here, and again, force the real Sim Shade to spread out, because then, oh, he might have defended here then. Well then. We shift the lane of attack towards here and hit here. I mean, had he been able to get the naval weapons and all the other things, he might actually have been able to make a sort of, you know, more, you know, hollowing out the forces of the real Sim Shady, but it didn't happen. And in the end, he was simply ground down due to constantly feeding units, sacrificing units instead of reinforcing them, no supply upgrades, no melee stations. Tommy was essentially ground down due to his own. A bit, I think he was a bit too happy about off map combat groups and in the end they actually sort of began betraying him. But there you go, do hope you enjoyed this game. If you did, why not subscribe to tell your friends and if you didn't, well why not send a replay of your own? This is Imperial Dane saying cheers.